Hello everyone, this is Big Owski. And GTV. See how I did the little red, white, and blue here? That was actually oh, kind of yeah. <laughs> hard to, to get in there, how the transition was set up. But anyway, this is chapter 9 of my normal making the time limits and chapter times uh, bonuses on Ninja Gaiden Black for the Xbox One system. Now this first area I've, I've talked about on other levels, you really don't need to farm for essence. But here, the, the time limit's so long in chapter nine and this is such an easy way to get a lot of free essence you almost need it because the enemies during the game just aren't strong enough to give you the essence you need to get the uf whenever you you need it to you know in chapter 10. so here go through here these enemies are always going to respawn each uh essence is worth 700 so 2100 uh <clears throat> 2100 for each visit you know in and out the room I think I just show this three times, but I think I do it for like five minutes. So again, this you is... You have ages, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, I, you can do this for like 16 minutes yeah. or something if you wanted to. Uh, you could get like everything here. I mean, if, if you do need the money for whatever reason, like maybe you want to just buy a load of Devil Elixirs, like abuse it, you know? Right. Like, you've got the time. Well, I showed that, you know, so if you look at them, they're going to shoot at you. But then you can just, oh, crap, I, I looked at them. You know, what am I going to do? Well, just walk out the door and, and come back in. So, so again, uh, I think I showed it at the beginning, and I have like 6,300 essence more than I started with for just a few minutes. So again, because the time limit's so long, uh, you're not going to miss any chapter bonuses or anything like that for farming. So, so again, you know, use that for this level, but I think in the other difficulties, you really don't need to do that. Now, I show a couple ways on that fight with the Nimpo. Uh, you could probably get a UT out of it with exploding arrows, but... Uh, you know, I want to show on this fight, you know, just two different ways. You know, it's funny how you talk about in your other video where you shoot, you know, the left and the right. I always kind of shoot the right to the left. I don't know why I've always done that. But if you want to make this yeah, really always. fight or this this part really easy, just stand here and just kill them as they come out. Yeah. Yeah, I've always gone left to right. I don't, I never really thought about it, but I've just kind of <laughs> always done it that way. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Your way is probably better, I mean, because I have to go to that door anyway. So, who knows. So, anyway, I just wanted to show that. You could just stand there and do that. Now, this way is the way, uh, kind of for karma, but also, because uh, I hate kind of missing the points, but it's not fully maxed because I kill some guys. But, again, this is uh, kind of what we did in Chapter 8. You can use the, what do you call it, the A, no, the... Oh, the tank shell calls? No, no, no. The, what's the vehicle right here? The Oh, the APC? Yeah, yeah, that. Uh, you know, you can kind of use this to your advantage. I kind of, I messed it up in Chapter 8. But here, in, you know, you just kind of go back and forth. And again, keep count of the enemies, you know, knowing, you know, how many are going to come and where. So, you know, I, I didn't make the most of it here. But again, it kind of gives you an idea. There is a, a free time to charge and everything like that, so... You can also use smoke bombs if you want. Smoke bombs are really good to keep the uh, the rocket launcher guy at bay if you need to. So I think after I kind of just showed that part, it's like, okay, let me just go and you know kill him. You know, I just I just kind of wanted to show that because I don't, you know, again, I don't want to make it like a, a totally full blown karma run. I mean, I, but I still want to get my points and you know show a couple of the little tricks. Like right here, I think I kill them both here. You know, so for a karma run, that would be no good, but. You know, for our purposes of making the time. Yeah, yeah see, I've got to go to the door. I should do it the other way. I'll try to keep mental note of that. Now, also, uh, I also buy exploding arrows at the beginning of the, the chapter. After I kind of farm a little bit, I go over there and buy some exploding arrows. And also make sure you... Look at that. I can't walk up the stairs. Sometimes it's crazy. <laughs> but uh, make sure you fill up your strongbow arrows as well. Oh yeah, yeah. We mentioned that in the other chapter. Yeah. You know, you always get, you always, you never really have to buy any arrows, like the the regular arrows. You usually, always get them for free. So here, uh, you know, work on the auto target. You can actually. I thought he was going to shoot the guy down there, the auto target, but see, he does now. You could also, if you had the windmill shuriken, uh, you know, maybe use that on a couple of them. You could maybe ut the guy with the essence or whatever. But again. I zoom in and out and, and kill these guys. Um, 
I think um I think the windmill shuriken one shots these guys on normal, doesn't it? Do what? I think I think the windmill shuriken on normal. That's that one shots these guys. It only takes one hit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think on the other difficulties it takes at least two, but on normal I think it takes them out in one go. You can also incendiary these guys, um, but it's kind of a waste of incendiaries. Well, one reason I like to come here is because they always seem to fly towards the end and then come at you at a straight line. There's some other videos where yeah. people, you know, stand kind of at the bottom and go left to right. Again, you can also jump on the train if you wanted to get some UTs out of everybody. Or, you know, out of three or four of them before you try to make the time limit. But again, this is why you want to make sure you have your arrows... Because you're going to run out of explosive arrows and, you know, use the strongbow. Also to note, with uh, UTing these guys, they don't give you any essence. So just bear that in mind. You, you know, you are going to be using all of the essence in the chest or uh, charging up. So it's kind of, it is only a, like a karma run only kind of strategy. But And here I, I, show, I, I go ahead and I pick up the core arrows. Uh, I turn on the uh, two of the machines because I'm not good at the jumps. Uh, run back out, grab my exploding arrows, go save, and then come and do this fight right here. And again, there's a couple ways you can do this fight. Uh, charge up UTs, uh, use smoke bombs, uh, you can just shoot them with the arrows. I think I do a little mixture of both. Good. I do like just shooting these guys. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. Well, again, you know, uh, see, I thought he was going to attack, so... But again, what did you say about the the closer you are? Again, man, I miss my on yeah, landings more, a lot. Yeah, the more damage your arrows do. Yeah, I, I, I miss a lot of my on landings on this. Like right there, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky he didn't trip me. There's a couple of them. So I, I, again, I target the guy, the dead guy. It just it wasn't a very good run, but smack. <laughs> it wasn't a very good run, but you know what? I made the time on it, so. I love how you can knock them up onto that platform. I just, I, I think that's a really nice touch on the detail. Like, you know, when they go back, like, you know, there's no, like, invisible wall or anything there. Like, they actually, like, fly back and, and, and land, you know, on that little <laughs> raised bit. I think that looks cool. Now, here, this is one of those things I have a... Uh, <clears throat> I'm full, so let me just go ahead and use it since my health bar is not completely full. Uh, I mean, sometimes that can be good. I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later when maybe it's not such a good thing. Now here, I tried this fight a couple, so I'm going to show uh, kind of three ways. It was just, the first way I try it, I try to jump away, and I eventually get shot. It's like, okay, so let me try it again. Well, this time, let me just start out with arrows. Okay, well, crap. So, you know what? I'm not going to mess with this. Let me just Nympho. Now, I have the Nympho to burn. It knocks the gunner down, and then I can get off four shots before I have to jump away. It's the easy way, but you know, if people have it, and again, remember what I was talking about, the gun turning a different way or whatever, I was able to finish mm -hmm. off that string uh, of yeah, killing one him. Thing to note, um, one thing to note about the Inferno as well, I think we mentioned it, we may have mentioned it on another video, um, but Inferno, I mean, you saw it right there, Inferno does do really good damage to the tank. Like, if you want to just, you know, burn some Nimpo here, and if you've got the Nimpo to burn, you might as well use it. Well, also, uh, at the beginning, after I used the Nimpo and the tank was so close to me, if I hadn't have jumped away, he would have, you know, turned his tank to start coming towards me. And that's the last thing you want to do is have him come towards yeah. you. So I jumped towards the box in order to, you know, get him to drive away. But you can kind of, now watch this. Uh, uh. <laughs> and I can run around in a circle. There we go. <laughs> I just hate that sometimes. <laughs> But I do the same thing here with the Great Spirit Elixir. You know, let me just use it now because I know it's going to be in this chest. <clears throat> yeah. Again, I think I, yeah, I go down to try to get the UT. Again, for Karma, that's what they do. So, you know, like I said, I'm kind of mixing it up, showing a little bit of both. But you'll see how bad I am on the, on the helicopter. I just, I have to zoom. It's bad. But I use this to try to stop the you know, stop the timer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does work. It doesn't quite, it doesn't work as good as the box. Like, the box is definitely the best thing because, you know, like, the dissolve, the dissolve animation just keeps going, uh, and it, but it doesn't take you out of the game. So, like, that just keeps going and going and going. See, I miss, uh, I miss a couple shots because I'm zoomed in. I use the fire wheels so I can get a couple more shots. 
But because I zoom in at the beginning, I miss out on an extra hit that I didn't have to do. Now, one of the strategies on a Karma run is to, if your health is low, so if I hadn't replaced it, just let those uh, missiles hit you and use a rebirth because you have them to, to use. See what happens when I don't zoom in? It's like, man, where am I shooting? But, you know, use the in, uh, invincibility frames in order to keep shooting the helicopter. But I still got a pretty good score out of it. So you look at me, no straight running. <laughs> But here I go up. One thing to... I go up and I get my scarab. Uh, go turn it in to get my celerity. Go to Miramasa and go back and save. Because again, yeah. One thing to note about the helicopter too. Uh, he does generally take the path that he did just there, where he like flies under, shoots the missiles, flies back under, and then comes up. Um, that arc that he takes, like that path, is exactly the same every single time. So uh, I mentioned this in I think the Karma Run video I did, but. Um, when you when you get familiar with where he's going to end up, like that's where shooting him becomes a little bit easier because you're not strictly aiming the bow, if you know what I mean. Like you know, he's going to go the same place every single time, so you don't actually have to like follow him as much as it might seem. You can just kind of you know put the bow where he's going to be, and then you'll be okay. Well, here again, instead of just fighting him outright, I wanted to show a little couple of the hiding spots that they use for. Uh, getting some extra UTs out of it. I want to show that a couple times. And I think I'm going to go and fight this guy. Again, jump on their head to, to stun him. And here I jump on this guy's head to charge. But notice the position. I wanted to make sure I jumped at, a, at an angle. so I don't hit. But I kind of hit the wall a little bit right there. <laughs> but uh, you really want to do that so you don't land on the wall and you can still charge up. Now here on this, uh, a lot of people just shoot out the dishes, but there are 12 guys that go with this. You can shoot the, the missiles. You can recover real fast. I just roll straight forward. But notice mm -hmm. the red you know, lasers or whatever that is coming out. I guess their eye, uh, the scope or whatever like that. So just follow that around and you know, you'll be fine. I mean, it's not, it really isn't that bad once you start you know, looking for that. And also, when you hold the, the B button down to draw your bow, it actually does more damage than just pressing it really fast. Is that, isn't that correct? Oh, yeah, that is true, actually, yeah. So that's... Yeah, when you just kind of, like, rattle it off really fast, like, you will actually do less damage. So, again, you know, like I said, I made the time, you know, kill it. it, it it's really not that bad. And, again, just, just roll forward, or if it really gets bad, maybe drop a smoke bomb. And, and go back into, you know, to killing those guys. But I know a lot of people like to skip that. But, you know, if, if you're going to make the kills, that you, you have to do that fight. So, again, I think here I get a great devil elixir. That's the reason I filled up with uh, my regular ones. My regular, you can actually start this out with a UT, but I wasn't going to do that. Yeah, again, like these guys don't give you money, so aside from like karma running, there's not really any incentive to do that. So I think I actually jumped down here and save. Uh, again, you have so much time in this chapter. Um, I, I think I do these fights a couple different ways. Uh, you know, Nimpo one way, drag the essence, and then arrows. You know, again, to show a couple different ways. And I don't think, uh, I actually, one time whenever I was doing this, I, I UT'd two and actually got a, a, a UT on another guy and then totally messed it up at the top. Oh, this encounter? Yeah, I got, yeah, instead of killing all three. But I've already have enough money to upgrade my, my UF. So, you know, farming at the beginning has really helped. Now, so now I don't even have to worry about any kind of essence at all the rest of the game and, and we'll talk a little bit about the essence bonus and how it all works you know later on I know we've said we'd do it earlier but you know that's uh you know we'll get into all that we have time to do it so here I think I just roll in and shoot arrows and kill a couple that was uh, one thing that did take me ages to figure out because I always used to wonder I was like why is the essence bonus never higher than 10,000 because you know how like the other three are 100 right. I used to think like like, what do you need to do to get a hundred thousand essence bonus? <laughs> like, you know, like, what do you have to do? I, I, I used to try and figure that out, and then I eventually found out that. Um, <laughs> I love that transition. 
uh, that it's only 2,000 and it caps. Well, I actually went back and saved again because the time limit's 28 minutes. It's not anywhere close to that on hard. And the kills are only 80. So, oh, uh, you can see I've got money for UF. So, you know, we're all good going forward here. It didn't cost me anything farming. So we'll see you later on, guys. Take care.